Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Cake Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. I have such an exciting video to share with you. It's all about how I use the law of attraction to manifest everything in my life. It's so amazing and it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Well, my loves, there are 10 steps that I want you to follow in order to manifest anything that you want. They are the same steps that I use in my video, How to Manifest a Vegan Partner. And I wanna help you manifest the world that you want because it is possible. So many things have happened for me this week that I was like, whoa, oh, ah, ah, ah. I had so much money come at me this week that I was like, where did that come from? Like, get this for example, a lost superannuation fund in Australia, if you have a super fund, which super fund is like your retirement fund, if you have under $200 in that account, they will actually take that money out of your account and put it into your bank account. And my mom messaged me and she's like, Mel, do you know you've got $119 in this? And then the other day, um, something else happened and there was another $400 came in and this, 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 and I was like, whoa, this is amazing. I noticed there was a couple of things that I've done wrong and when I tweaked it, Oh my God, it's amazing. So are you ready for your 10 steps to help you manifest anything that you want using the law of attraction? Number one, write down your non-negotiables, everything that is so important to you because this, my love, is going to determine what you're going to get. Number two is write down everything you want in the present tense. So for me, um, let's say for instance, this house, um, I wrote down that I am living, I never said the Sunshine Coast, but that kind of happened. By the way, I've moved house. I'm no longer on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm about two and a half hours north and it is so hot up here, by the way. <laughs> um, so what I did is I said I wanted a house. I'm living in a house. I pay this amount of money per week. I have beautiful neighbors. I am um, no more than 10 minutes riding distance from the beach. Um, oh my gosh, my list was massive. And I actually manifested a brand new house, um, which is crazy because sometimes the universe gives you like, um, like a little prize to say, you know, you've done really well, but here's this. And I never put down, I wanted a brand new house. I said, modern, clean and fresh. This is modern, clean and fresh. I can't show you the rest of the house because I don't have any furniture really in it just yet because I'm manifesting it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. The list is so important. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Um, oh, number three is read the list morning and night. So as you're reading, you're like, I live in this beautiful house and I did the da da read morning and night. I kind of kept it on my phone. Um, if you saw my video, how to manifest a vegan partner, you would have seen me like scrolling through um, my phone for the list. It doesn't matter how long the list is. The list can be like three sentences or it can be um, however many, but just be mindful that what you write down, you're going to manifest. So there actually may be some times where you need to rejuggle things or reword things. Um, you know that song from the Pussycat Dolls? Um, yeah, be careful. That's happened to me this week. The next one is number four. This is very important. Oh, well, these are all important, but this one in particular, clear emotional and physical blockages. So fear, maybe one thing that could be holding you back. Money could be another thing. You need to release your thoughts around this because when you focus on an emotion, it grows. So you could visualize and say, I live in this beautiful house and it's blah, blah, blah. And then you actually think to yourself deep down on an emotional and spiritual level, you're like, you're not gonna get that, Mel. Who are you kidding me? You don't have enough money to afford that house and blah, 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 blah. All of these things could be filtrating into your subconscious. So make sure that you release the emotional blockages because when you release them, they are not gonna interfere with what you are trying to manifest because what you think you create. I know that one is tough. Okay, number five is visualization. So you may have a vision board. You may just close your eyes and through meditation, you're like, I live in this beautiful house and you can just see it and you can just see yourself opening the front door and you go, oh, hi house, I'm home. 
you know, just visualize what you want and it's going to happen. So number six is all about the emotions associated with what you're visualizing. So when you're closing your eyes or when you're looking at your vision board, how do you feel? You know, if doubt is slipping into that, then you need to go back to number four and release those emotional or physical blockages for you. So for instance, when I was visualizing this house and I was looking at the emotions associated, I was feeling how Peter and I would feel when we are uh, moving into the house and we're opening the door for the first time and we're like, oh my God, honey, we're home, you know? And how we felt, like how we would feel the first morning when we wake up in our brand new house and we know that none of our stuff has been unpacked, but how do we feel? How do we feel knowing that this is our own house and it's not a share house anymore? So pay particular attention to the emotions associated with it because it's going to impact on what you want. You can do all of the other steps and say, yep, I've said this, 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 and this, I've done the visualization, I've released the blockages, or so you say, and then you're like, yep, this is what I want. But then doubt and fear comes into play and whatever you have thought that you have manifested is gone. It's like you've done all of this work and it's like doo -doo 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 -doo, and then fear comes in, boom, it squashes your dreams, you know? So you need to feel that emotion. Just emotions taking me over. Abraham Hicks actually taught me a lot about that, in particular in her um I'll link it down below in the drop down box in her video about financial abundance and how do you feel when you get a thousand dollars in your bank account and you have no idea where the hell it came from and how do you feel when you sell your first book and how do you feel when you um, sign um, sign for your a mortgage on your new house like how do you feel you know and it's very very powerful because I was actually doing this through a meditation and it actually brought me to tears and I was like, oh my God, that's exactly how I would feel. And then it transpired within my world. Seven, do not settle. You know that scene from Liar Lies like, settle, 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 settle. I don't want to settle. Don't settle. The universe is just testing you. It's like giving you a taste. Or maybe in your list, you actually didn't write down your intentions um, in enough detail. Let's say for instance, you're manifesting a dining room table. And for me, I want a circle table um, and I know what chairs I want and blah, blah, blah. I actually manifested the table, but I didn't say what diameter I wanted it to be. The one I want is like 105 to, um, 105 to 120 mils, millimeters but the one that actually came up was 70 centimeters. I was like, are you joking? Are you kidding? Like what? You have to be very, very careful in what you ask for. So don't settle if the wrong thing comes and you're like, oh, that's the only thing the universe is gonna bring me. That's rubbish, it's absolute rubbish. Just go back to your list, rewrite it, and then continue on with the next step. In saying that, number eight is, cause I gotta have faith. Have faith that everything's going to work out. The universe always brings you what you need. Sometimes it may deviate from the plan that you had in your head, um, which can really mess you up when you get so fixated on something. And maybe you wanted this table, but then all of a sudden this table comes up and this one is more beautiful and blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's not the color you wanted, but you get it in your house and you're like, oh my God, it's Buck's Joy. So the next one is number nine is listen to your intuition. <laughs> Intuition is always going to guide you onto the most beautiful things in your life. So for instance, if you get the table and it's not exactly the one that you had written down, but the universe brings you this one and your intuition says to you, that's the one Mel, that's the one, quick, buy it now. You know, get the bloody table. <laughs> Number 10 is enjoy the process. You know, it's kind of about fine tuning your skills. Do what works best for you, write your list, visualize, work out the feelings associated with it because if your emotions are wrong and you have blockages in yourself, that is going to be amplified and that's gonna be something the universe is going to be fixated on when they bring you what you ask for. Well, there you have it, my loves. I'm just gonna run through all of those 10 for you right now because it's going to be very, very beneficial too. Are you ready? 
Number one, write down your non-negotiables. Two, write down everything you want in the present tense. Three, read morning and night. Four, clear emotional and physical blockages. Five, visualize. Six, feel the emotion. Seven, don't settle. Eight, have faith. Nine, listen to your intuition. And 10, have fun and enjoy the process. Well, there you have it, my loves. I hope you have enjoyed my 10 tips that are gonna help you manifest anything that you want using the law of attraction. I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices because it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. If you're new to the MK Love fam, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button because you'll be notified. <laughs> because you're gonna be notified on my videos. I release videos Tuesday and Sunday now, a new time alert for all my old subbies. Um, at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, I talk about delicious and nutritious food, motivation, fitness, how to feel beautiful without makeup. I talk about the latest in evidence-based nutrition, how to prevent and reverse illness and disease, and I share with you my very transparent healing and weight loss journey. Well, there you have it, my loves. I'm sure you're convinced, hit that subscribe button, comment below, let me know where you are in the world and how you are going with manifesting your desires. Thanks so much for watching. I'll check you next week. I love you, I love you, I love you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm so excited for you.